Welcome back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is a superstar you know from movies like Trainwreck, F9, and The Suicide Squad. He now stars in the new film, Argyle. Please welcome back to The Late Show, John Cena. <laughs> I take nothing away from the beautiful dome and the stained glass, but we have a stadium of excitement here. This is fantastic. That's exactly right. Wow! Well, it's, right it's, on. It's, not, it's not every day that we give the people a John Cena. And it's not every day that I get to be in front of an audience like this. It's like a shot of adrenaline to the eyeball. Well done. Nicely done. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. It's so wonderful to have you here, John Cena. I always enjoy talking to you. You started off in WWE. Uh, <laughs> still there, Steve. You're still there. I know. Still there. But you have been asked. Not as, not when, as when, regular. It's like, are you going to retire? And you said, of course I'm going to retire. That time is going to come, and it's going to come soon. Is John Cena finally saying, you really can't see me? Well, this is. <laughs> We have been really building this up for a payoff, haven't we? Yes, we have. 20 years of actually being invisible. Um, I'll, I'll be 47 in April, and uh, the product is filled with superstars who are young, fast, and gifted, and I'm, I'm just not as fast as I once was. I compare myself to like a, a fine vintage classic car. So if you want to take it out one day, you got to warm it up for about two and a half hours. <laughs> And then you can take it out, and you can hit the last gear, but please don't pin it to red line. I can go for about 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and then after you drive for 30 minutes, you gotta take it back in the shop and fix all the noises it was making. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaking fluids from places. I didn't know I had places. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty rough around Some the edges. Some of it's Bondo. I, indeed. I can still go. I can mm -hmm. still go, but I, I, pretty soon, pretty what, soon. What was it like? What, when did you start? How, what, what year did 2002. you start? 2002, so it's been yeah. a minute. I've been a fall down man since 2002, my friend. Okay. It's a lot of that, falling that, down. That, that has, its, has its price. Um, what was it like to get the call Was to find out that you had the gig? Oh, my. So I was uh, living in a garage in Venice, California, Good for you. and I had picked up professional wrestling as a hobby. I did not know what I was going to do with my life. I, I, I tried to be a cop. I failed the CHP exam. Uh, I couldn't apply my college degree. I was going to go down to be a Marine, and the weekend I was going to go down, a friend was like, hey, we're training to be wrestlers in Orange County. I didn't even know there was such a thing. So when I saw a ring, I was like, I will figure it out to do this as a hobby. Never anything more than that. I just wanted to live like Superman on the weekends. Mm -hmm. And then I finally get my big contract with WWE. I got a call from Bruce Pritchard, head of talent relations at the time. He said, we want to sign you to $12,500 a year. Wow. And living in California, I quit my job right away and I was bawling like a newborn baby. I couldn't, I couldn't have been happy. It was a, I view it as a chance to better myself and I'm, I'm very grateful for that opportunity because it's brought us here today. Wow. Well, now you're an actor. You guys. You guys. Thank you. Thank you. They're everywhere. Now you're an actor. Everybody loves seeing you on screen and you're in the new I mean, movie, Argo. I mean, the reviews. Not everybody, what? but we try. Everybody, we try our best everybody every time. Everybody who's anybody likes John Cena, okay? You're in the new spy thriller, Argyle. What's it about and who do you play? I play a sidekick and a best friend. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, Argyle is about taking the spy genre and flipping it on its head. We got a, a brilliant director in Matthew Vaughn, and he's created so many wonderful universes. What struck me about his work is uh, in The Kingsman, there's a quote, uh, a gentleman is the modern day knight and the suit is his armor. And that's kind of why I wear the stuff that I wear, because that, that really resonated with me. I feel real comfortable in this, the same as you. You feel real comfortable in that. Sure. Um, so to be a part of a Matthew Vaughn universe is incredible. He's a meticulous filmmaker. Everything is there for a reason. And he really leaned into the spy secret society genre with the Kingsman and was able to turn it on its head in Argyle. So what we have for you, the audience, when you go to see it, is a movie with so many twists and turns, I actually can't talk about anything. So I've been professionally dodging Steven's question for the last 45 seconds, <laughs> hoping to build some excitement with you guys so you go see Argyle in the theater and you can talk about it with your friends. But I'm not going to spoil it for you. It's a great film. you got to go see it. <laughs> Thank you.
Redlining? Are you redlining? We're okay. Are you redlining okay. right now? Gotta go Would back you to the make show. a good spy? No. <laughs> you can't keep a secret? Do I blend in? <laughs> Well, not in this outfit. My goodness, man. Do I, I, can, I can keep a secret. I just don't think I'd be a good spy. What about Bond? Bond's a little flashy. Could you be James Bond? Do you have an English accent? Right. I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't exactly <laughs> try. Stop right there, because it's working so far. Couldn't, couldn't try the James Bond. I don't know if I'd be 007. <laughs> I might have to reorganize myself if James Bond wanted to reinvent their franchise with a vibrant, enthusiastic fool of a man. Maybe they should choose John Senna. <laughs> All right, we do, we do have a clip. We do have a clip for the film here. Show it. Do Let's give the people something. Let's give them Some something. Some form of entertainment yes, other than come this on. jabber jaw. My goodness. Do, do, do you need to tell us what's happening here? No, I can't, told you I can't spoil it for you. I can't tell uh, you anything. All right, I'll set it up. John Cena's in it. Go. <laughs> What's your status? I'm about to enjoy a delicious Greek coffee. Well, I suggest you hurry up. She's inbound to your position. Ah, oh, relax. for you. This is the only exit route off the island. Now that, for the people, for the people who could not see from the short clip, that's Dua Lipa. Typical day at work, just having a nice hot cappuccino and then just uh, grab Dua Lipa off a full throttle sport bike. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more John Cena, everybody. Stick around.